All right, folks. We back at it again. Oh man, boy, oh boy. It's eight o'clock and the humidity is already so bad. There she is. Well guys, it is like 90 degrees at eight o'clock in the morning already. One thing about being in self-quarantine, I had AC <laughs> and that was awesome. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk. For those of you that are just tuning in, I did have to go in self-quarantine because I was exposed to someone that tested positive of COVID-19. Needless to say, all that is over. We are back back with the Ford Falcon build. I'm so stoked. There's really not much to do here. So we have new disc brakes all the way around. We have a new master cylinder for those disc brakes, proportioning valve down there. With that master cylinder and the proportioning valve kind of being relocated, the hard brake lines on the vehicle, they don't reach. So, which is understandable. There's some modifications that need to be done. So I may be doing it the wrong way um, and some of you might cringe at it, but I really don't care because it's cost effective and well, it's all the same. It makes it work and it makes it to where we can actually enjoy this Ford and maybe just drive it around the block a little bit and start betting the brakes and whatnot. But anyways, what I'm planning to do, I have a short line, short brake line, and then I have a union. I don't know if this is actually, you know, what you call it, but I call it a union. So that way we can go ahead and fit this on one side this side will go ahead and plug into the master cylinder or that proportioning valve and then the other side will go on the original brake line the purpose of that is to not get carried away with a brand new brake line that goes all the way from the master cylinder to the brake hose on the wheel probably not the best way to do it i get it but right now I'm so eager to drive it, I really don't care. Later on when we start cleaning up the engine bay and stuff like that, yeah, we'll probably just end up doing all new everything, obviously, that's what a restoration is, really. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Oh, oh, and another thing. I finally found some wheels that will fit with those disc brake calipers. They're not really the wheels that I would choose right off the bat, so bear with me, but they were super cheap and they're brand new. So why are you, you know? I'll reveal that at a later time in this video because that's gonna be the last step. All right, so first things first, we did have to take off the brake hose to get fitted for these new brake lines just to make sure that everything will fit properly. Also, when we were doing the brake conversion, I realized I didn't have to do this, but this like brace or tension bar, whatever you want to call it, I did take it off because we were having such trouble on this side alone with that drum. So now we have to put it back on. Here's the bolts for it and wish us luck. We got the torsion bar, tow bar, or suspension brace, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. We got that on. Now comes the more fun part and narrowing it down so that way we can bleed the brakes. What we have to do is we have to put this line on the master cylinder and connect it to the line that's going to the passenger side there. And then this longer one here is going to this side right here because at the very top of that line, that fitting was, it was stripped. So we don't wanna go back together with it. There was nothing wrong with the line other than that, other than the actual like fitting right here being stripped. So of course we don't wanna put that back together um, but shouldn't take us too long so we're good all right so what i'm just gonna do since we had to disconnect this hose again to test those fitting sizes i'm just gonna go back here and snug it up and good this line we left in here and don't need it anymore so we're just gonna take that out all right and that's a short line i got a really long line so that's snug right there we'll tighten that up later Good God, what are we gonna do with that? So this is all of what I'm gonna show you. With the new lines installed, we had to do some off video bending. So I didn't want you guys to judge me. We're trying to get this thing on the road. We can fix it later, so on and so forth. We still got so much to do. So I'm not gonna let that hinder us. But needless to say, now we have to bleed the whole entire brake system 
And I mean, honestly, guys, after that, it's put on the wheels, the new wheels, and we're good to go. Let's, you know, take it out for a spin. And hopefully, hopefully we did something good with the brake system to where it actually stops after everything is bled at all. And we don't have any issues. So keep your fingers crossed. Let's get to it. And here's the last little Allen screw in the lid there. The little boot. Boom. Oh. General rule of thumb is how you bleed brakes on a vehicle is you start from the furthest wheel from the master cylinder. In this case, it's the passenger side rear tire. Then you go to the driver's side rear, the shotgun front side or passenger front side, and then the driver's front. So, so far we have done the passenger rear and check this out. After a little while, you see the little bowl back there, the reservoir in the back took a lot so while you're doing this you want to maintain the fluid in that reservoir so it doesn't start sucking air from the master cylinder and so on and so forth but anyways i'm gonna fill that back up do the driver's side rear and then just to be sure though i'm probably gonna go around twice on the vehicle um but i do like the flow and everything there's it's solid coming out of the passenger rear as of right now and i'm gonna get like that on the driver's side and on each other side but i just want to be double triple sure that we're not going to have any brake issues anymore because quite frankly this has gone on long enough and i'm done with this so i want to drive it anyway so hopefully here in a little bit we'll go ahead and have the rear and then the front and just like that we're at the front passenger side so quick tip on here you have all these bleeders if you guys ever wanted to know i'm just gonna tell you anyways <laughs> you start out with the outboard bleeder here and then you work your way on the inboard bleeder. I guess it's it, it kind of makes sense because it would be further travel for that fluid to get to the outboard versus the inboard. And we're going from furthest to closest as far as how we bleed. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is start this front passenger. Should be good. Man, that sucks. So what where we're at right now is unfortunately we have come to a stop because that's all we have time for today we cannot get any brake fluid coming out of these front calipers so we're gonna have to do a little bit of diagnostics here and see exactly what's going on anyway so i have a feeling of what it might be but unfortunately that's all i have time for today so i guess since we weren't able to get it actually rolling and the brakes done like i want it to um before we end this video I know you guys been waiting patiently for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the wheels that we got so far. And there they are. Now, obviously I'm missing a lot of lug nuts here, but this is just mocked up. They're like a rally type wheel. Now, I know some of you might not like that. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about these wheels just yet, but understand one thing. They were so incredibly cheap. They're brand new, absolutely brand new, but they are so cheap with the tires, with the, the wheels, everything brand new, all mounted, balanced, everything ready to go. It was less than $400 all the way around, four tires. I, I couldn't pass it up, honestly. So, um, and also we need just, we need a, a set of wheels. We need a set of wheels so we can hopefully get it out around the neighborhood kind of thing. And, um, you know, enjoy it a little bit before we get going more on all these other repairs. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the wheels. Um, I don't like the color. We might paint them some like black or something like that just to match the car a little better, but I don't know. I think they look pretty good. Without further ado, this effectively ends today's video. If you guys liked it, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace, guys.